Hello, hello, Fawn here with Icon Art, and today I'm going to be showing you another artwork tutorial for beginners using the online graphic editor Vector. It's a free online editor. Very easy to use. And today I'm going to be showing you how to separate artwork onto two different stencils if you have multiple colors. So let's get going. All right, so I am going to actually be using one of the So Fancy designs. So we have an Icon Art design store on Sofancy. So I'm just going to our website and searching for Sofancy. And then it's under the Sofancy Icon Art Design Shop. So we have our design shop linked, but then also we have all of our codes linked. So every month we give out codes that you can get a free download in the Icon Art Design Shop. So you just get that code for November is Icon1122. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna head over my into the design shop and there's a design this month that I really wanna use. They upload new designs every month. So they're constantly giving new freebies to choose from. And the one they just uploaded for November, this one I've been wanting to make a sign out of. So I'm super excited that they gave us this one this month and I'm just going to download this for free. So once you have that downloaded, you can open Vector and it's just V-E-C-T-R.com, super easy. And create an account or log in if you already have an account. I'm just gonna log in and then you can open up your file. So I'm just gonna select new artwork, go to print, eight and a half by 11 and create. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on Vector, we did record an intro kind of to the program. So I'll link that below uh, if you want to kind of go, I went over everything in a little bit more detail. So I'm just going to upload my design by clicking this little cloud. And then I'm going to open up my file that I have on my desktop. He's making a list, the one we just downloaded. And there it is. So I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see it a little bit better and scale that down by just using the transform handles on the sides. And I actually think I'm gonna put this on a landscape. So to change the paper orientation, all you do is go to your pages and unclick that and then type in 11 by eight and a half instead and then you can exit out of that. So now my paper is sideways instead. All right, so that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm just gonna ungroup this, and I want to separate it out so that my green is on its own stencil because I could keep this all as one stencil and carefully try to like get the different colors on there, but it's just gonna be a lot easier if I just make two different stencils. So that's what I'm gonna do. I there's a couple different options. You can put registration marks on it if you want. You can also just eyeball it when you're trying to line them up, or you can use a piece of artwork to line it up, which I think is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna select this and copy it, and then paste it over here. And in this one, I'm gonna delete everything that's green. And over here, I'll delete everything that's red and black. And then I think I'm gonna use maybe this arrow to register. Actually, I think I'll just eyeball it. Just pause the video really quick to let you know that there are multiple ways that you can register two different colors or multiple colors with your icon art stencils. And we do have a blog post covering that, so I will link that down in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna have this all on one stencil and I can do the black separate if I want as I'm stenciling that one. And then I'm gonna put the green on the separate stencil and I'm just gonna eyeball it when I line them up. And now I'm just gonna change everything to black. So I'm just gonna select everything and go to fills over here and choose this black button. And then I just like to make sure, I click on my CMYK and it's like 0, 0, 0, 100. So cyan, magenta, and yellow are all zero and black is 100. So that looks perfect. So then that's pretty much ready to print. If I would wanna add a cut line, I could. I could just choose my pen tool and hold the shift down there, click escape. 
And then I'm going to select that button and change my border over here to 0.03. All right, so that looks good. And then I can move this over a little bit and kind of center it to give myself a little bit more room with my stencil. So that looks good. So that's all there is to making two different or like separating your stencil out. It will depend on how the artwork is set up. You do need to be working with an SVG file to begin with. It can't be an image of a file. If you want to mirror your artwork, you certainly can do that too. I just select it all, group it, and click the mirror before printing or the flip horizontal before printing. And then you can either save it as SVG it does save directly in your vector program as well, but you can also print directly out of vector. And this is where you would go into your print dialog settings and adjust your preferences over here. Depends on what kind of printer you have as to how you adjust it, but you definitely want to adjust it to print as dark as possible. All right, and then that's all there is to that. It automatically saves. So I like to just go back to my home button and then rename my file right away. So I'm just gonna retitle this Christmas list. So now it's always there. So that's all there is to it when you are separating out colors onto multiple stencils when you're dealing with SVG files. It'll always matter how the artist originally set up their file. So you might be doing things a little bit different than this one, but I'm really excited to make the sign layering the two stencils and showing you how much easier it is when your second color is on a separate stencil. It just makes it your life a whole lot easier than trying to like get those two colors on there on one stencil. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, or if you would like to see a specific artwork tutorial using the vector program, let me know and I'll film that for you as well. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload. See you in the next video.